Hi, my name is Sham, and in this video I'm going to talk about clientless SSL VPN and how to configure it on a Cisco ASA firewall. Clientless SSL VPN is a technology that allows you to remotely access your internal corporate resources using just an SSL enabled web browser. It does not require you to have a VPN client to access the internal resources and hence it has certain restrictions or limitations when compared to a full client SSL VPN. However, you can perform most of the tasks like um, accessing an HTTP resource, an FTP resource, directory listing, etc. If you also configure the use of plugins uh, with SSL VPN, you can have some additional capabilities like Telnet, SSH, RDP, etc. Okay, um, this is the network topology I'm going to use for this demonstration. I have a Cisco ASA firewall which is configured with two zones, an inside zone and an outside zone. On the inside I have a router which is configured as a certificate authority. Uh, this ASA uses the certificate provided by the CA for the SSL VPN. Now it does not require you to have a certificate authority to configure a clientless SSL VPN. You can also use a self-signed certificate and I'll show you how to do that as well. On the inside of the network I also have a host which is configured as an HTTP server and an FTP server. The HTTP web page can be accessed without any restrictions. However, to access the files in the FTP server, the user has to sign into the clientless SSL VPN. This is the machine that I'm sitting on right now. It's my physical machine. And let's test the uh, HTTP access first. Okay, so I'm going to go to the browser and type in 192.168.1.2 forward slash search videos dot HTML. Okay, so that's the uh, web page that has an open for all access. And the FTP does not work without signing in to the SSL VPN. You can see it is actually timing out. Okay, so that's the scenario. We are going to configure it in a manner that the user can access the FTP resources only when he's accessing it from an SSL VPN. Okay, so um, I'm signed into the uh, Cisco ASDM and you need to navigate to configuration, remote access VPN, clientless SSL VPN access. Okay, there are three steps to configuring a clientless SSL VPN. The first step is to create a connection profile that identifies your pre-login settings. The second step is to create a group policy that identifies your post-login settings. And the last step is to create a user account for the VPN. You can do it in any order that you'd like to. I am going to start configuring a group policy first, followed by the connection profile, and then the VPN user. So um, I'm going to head to this section that says clientless SSL VPN access, group policies, add. And let's call this group policy as um, search videos policy. Okay, and uh, let's set a banner for this connection. This is, okay. The protocol that is allowed for this VPN is clientless SSL VPN. And the next section is the web ACL. Now web ACLs is what you will be using to control the access inside the clientless SSL VPN. In this case, we want to permit access to the web resource and the FTP resource. Okay, so I'm going to say manage and you can see I already have a web ACL configured. The web ACL basically allows access to the FTP resource, the HTTP resource and RDP which is not uh, part of this configuration. Okay, now you need to remember that when you're configuring web ACLs, you need to be as specific as possible. So if I configure this uh, as HTTP colon forward slash 192.168.1.2, this web page would not work. Okay, and the next thing you need to remember is web ACLs have an implicit deny at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to say OK and choose the web ACL. Okay, and next let's move to the portal section and create a bookmark. I'm going to say manage. You can see I have a few bookmarks already configured. Let me delete this first and add a new bookmark. Let's call it the third videos bookmarks. Now, uh, when configuring bookmarks, keep in mind that once you create a bookmark, you cannot rename it. So you need to be very careful when you're creating a bookmark. Okay, I'm going to add a bookmark here, and let's call it HTTP 192.168.1.2. Okay, and again, just like web ACLs, your bookmarks have to be very specific. Otherwise, the bookmark will appear in the portal, 
but it will be inactive meaning the user cannot click on it okay okay so that's the complete uh, web address I'm gonna say okay and I'm gonna add one more for FTP say okay okay all right so the bookmark is created so uh, that's all the settings uh, we want to configure for the group policy I'm just gonna say okay and don't forget to apply your settings before you move to the next section so we have created a group policy um, let's proceed for the connection profile now before we begin with the configuration of the connection profile let's go ahead and choose the device certificate now you can see I already have a certificate from a certificate authority you can you can use an external C, a CA certificate or you can use a self-signed certificate for the SSL VPN to create a self-signed certificate go to manage and choose add here and you need to give the trust point and name okay choose the option that says add a new self-signed certificate or add a new identity certificate okay and uh, create a new key pair and specify a key pair for this um, certificate I'm going to create a new key pair uh, let's call it as VPN keys the size is 1024 bits generate now okay and then check the box that says generate self-signed certificate okay and say add a certificate okay so um, it says enrollment succeeded and it creates a new self-signed certificate now you can choose this certificate for the SSL VPN however I'm going to use the certificate that was issued by the CA okay and uh, you can choose the port uh, to which the users need to connect for the SSL VPN I'm going to leave it at the default which is 443 and you see this option here that says enable inbound VPN sessions to bypass interface access list now by checking this box here you're telling the ASA that you trust all the traffic that is coming through the VPN okay if you uncheck this box you will have to specifically allow traffic coming from the VPN on the interface access list you can leave this box uh, checked which means you're trusting your VPN traffic okay uh, now to add a new connection profile you need to choose add and let's call it as set videos and let's uh, call call the alias as cert videos alias the authentication is local authentication if you have internal DNS servers in your organization you can specify the DNS server here and the group policy is the one that we already created so that was cert videos hyphen policy okay I'm gonna say okay now let's move to the other settings advanced clientless SSL VPN now it gives you a warning saying there is no DNS server defined do you want to continue I'm gonna say okay and uh, I want you to see this section that says group URLs now a group URL is a web address that uh, allows access into a specific connection profile uh, directly now what I try to mean here is when when a VPN user tries to connect to the interface IP address of the ASA he is presented with a list of connection profiles to choose from now you can assign a web address for a specific connection profile so when the VPN user connects to the web address of the connection profile he logs in directly to the connection profile he does not have to choose from a drop-down list okay so let's add a URL for this um, connection profile I'm going to call it as HTTPS colon forward slash 200.1.1.2 forward slash set videos okay let's just call it set videos now 200.1.1.2 is the outside interface IP address of the ASA okay oh it's 200.1.1.1 so let me correct that here okay so that's the configuration for the connection profile let's say OK and apply it the last step is to create a user for the VPN connection so uh, you need to go here AAA local users local users and say add okay let's call this user as VPN user and the password is Cisco now uh, this user is a VPN user he does not need to have access to the ASDM um, telnet or console access so I'm going to choose this option here no ASDM SSH telnet or console access okay and you can also set additional parameters like uh, the group policy the tunneling protocols um, the connection profile etc you can also uh, provide this user with a dedicated IP address I'm going to leave all this at the default which means uh, these settings will be inherited by the user depending upon the connection profile he is choosing to connect to 
okay so let's say OK apply it send it over and save the configuration okay so that's it uh, uh, for the configuration of the SSL VPN let's go ahead and test the connection I'm going to open a browser here and connect to the outside IP address of the ASA so it presents us with a screen and here are the connection profiles that are configured on the firewall okay this is the connection profile we configured for this video said video is hyphen alias and the user is VPN hyphen user and the password is Cisco and we are presented with the banner this is the said videos group policy continue and we are presented with the portal page of the SSL VPN okay you can see the bookmarks we configured uh, you can see this bookmark is actually inactive I'm not able to click this bookmark which means there is something wrong with the configuration right so let's quickly go and check the configuration in the ASDM group policies set videos policy portal and let me quickly check the bookmark and the bookmark actually looks okay to me 192.168.1.2 forward slash third videos dot html that looks okay to me let me commit the configuration one more time and see if it works fine okay apply it okay let me log out and log in once again and see if it works fine okay it's working fine so there was something wrong with the configuration maybe it just required a write memory one more time so let's test the access I'm going to click the bookmark and it works fine so the HTTP or the web address uh, works fine let's try to test the FTP connection okay I'm going to click this bookmark FTP and it is presented or it is asking me a username and a password that's because the FTP server is configured with a username and password so I think the username is Sham and it is working fine so uh, even the FTP access is working fine the web ACL was correctly configured so that is how you configure a clientless SSL VPN on a Cisco ASA 5 wall I'd like to thank you for watching